Madam, I need your help. I need your help. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. I what can I do key. for you now? Did I show you this photograph? Yeah. Damn it. Hmm. Can I go upstairs? Can I go upstairs? No, I can't. Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay. Um, second door on the right is that one. Can't go in it because I don't have a key. The door was locked. Damn it! The sign on the door read 21. Am I getting this one? One of them's open, I think. If the tailor's description was correct, that's that door. This yeah. was the killer's room. And it's the locked. The sign on the door read 22. And it's the locked. The door was locked. Right, back downstairs. Now does she help me? I need to get him away from the reception. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. George. What can I do for you now? Mm, no. I have to actually talk to you, see if it makes a difference. Hello again. Have a look at this. Have you any idea what this tool might be used for? I cannot guess. Would it mean anything if I told you it was for lifting drain covers? Such technology fills me with wonder. Do you picture. recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this man. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. Have a look at this nose. What does this clown's nose suggest to you? In my country, we have no use for clowns. I'm glad to hear it. They were dealt with most severely in the last cultural cleansing. What about the mimes? Did you get them too? All gone. Our streets are mime free. Sounds like heaven. It's not right. Does this goo smeared tissue mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Buzzer. May I shake you by the hand? I do not shake the hands of imperialist dogs. Now that's a real bad attitude problem you've got there. All right, do you know a guy called Plantow? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, well, this guy's dead anyhow. Why do you ask me about dead men? I have seen enough of death to last me a lifetime. I'm, uh, sure you have. Have you seen a clown? Um, I beg your pardon? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. <laughs> Marks and Spencer. They are a pleasure and a comfort to wear with much support. I'm real glad to hear that. How much you know, were they? it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners are human too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. Uh, What's your him. interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. You know he's a killer? Of course, amongst other things. Would you help me investigate Khan? That is not possible. My instructions are to observe. I cannot jeopardize my position as an honored guest of this country's government. Well, that's a little bit strange to put it. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Right. Now can I talk to you and ask for help? Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Nope. Can I talk to Nico? Can I use... Can I can't use the phone. Well, that's not fair. Right, hold up. Can I talk to you again? There was no one registered under the name of Khan, but the name in the book for room 22 was Murder. Really? What now, monsieur? I want that key. About the key hanging on the hook over there. Oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. 
rats. No, monsieur. Dutch. <laughs> I believe Khan, the man with the scar, is also known as Merlin, the man who has taken room 22. What of it? What do you want? Access to his room. Do you have a license, monsieur? Huh? A private investigator's license? Well, not exactly. I can show you my scar. But I can explain everything. I am sorry, but without credentials, I cannot help. I insist you give me the key to Merlin's room. I cannot do that, monsieur. This guy Merlin is a menace. So you say, monsieur. He's not only a danger to society, but to your guests as well. He has toyed with the affections of Lady Piermont. <laughs> Ciel! Are there no depths to which he will not sink? Precisely. He's already killed once, twice, maybe as many as three, three times. times a lady. With your help, I just might be able to stop him. But what if he finds out I have helped you? No, I cannot do it. God damn it. Right then. So, now we can talk to her. Madam, I need your help to get a key. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? I need a key. Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Oh, no. It's the key to an Please? empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scouts or not? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Now tell me, why do you want to get into that room? It's next to the room the killer is using. She scares ah, me. Ah, so you plan to eavesdrop on Merlin? I was hoping there might be a connecting door. Well, how can I refuse? I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case, but a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. If it's not obvious, the clerk likes men. I say, <laughs> you there, flunky. We, oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Not subtle at all, my friend. Over to you, my dear. Now we pick up the key, and we go upstairs. The door was locked. All right, all right. Key on you. Uh, maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. In we go. Is there anything in, I need in here? There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. Look at that old ass TV. Ah, oh, those were the days. Anything here? The cabinet was empty, but it smelt of onions. No kidding, it really did. Strange. Right, let's open the window. window and let's go into room 22 come on here we go all right then let's take a look shall we the assassin had been too smart to leave incriminating evidence beside his bed check his pillows <laughs> Stuffed it with dead bodies. The bed was freshly made, and the crisp white sheets told me nothing about the killer's habits. Hmm. Suitcase. It was the battered leather briefcase I'd seen Plantar carrying just before he died. I searched the interior of the briefcase, but as I'd half expected, it was empty. It was empty. 
So we need to talk to the clerk again. Let's have a look in the cupboard. The wardrobe. What's this? The closet was a solid, impressive piece of antique furniture. The closet. No, I can see. I leave. It was Khan. I had the kind of oh, feeling yeah. in my stomach that would usually send me running to the bathroom. Quick, into the cupboard. As Khan opened the wardrobe, I was sure I was dead. But he grabbed his pants quickly and didn't even see me. The old switcheroo. I didn't usually spy on men getting changed. But this guy was a killer, and I didn't want any surprises. He left his checkered pants on the bed. He got changed and left. Now I'm going to rummage through his trousers. I had that kind of feeling you only get from searching still warm pants. There was nothing in the pocket. What about this one? The pocket was empty. God damn it. A strip along the side seam of the pants had been unpicked, then sewn back up with strong thread and a special stitch. Hmm. I flipped the pants over. I found nothing in the pocket. Aha! I found an ordinary matchbook. No matches, no clues. But as I pulled it from the pocket, a strong thread came with it. A thread with a metal tag on the end. I turned the pants over again. A strip along the... Then sewn back... God damn it. I turned the pants... I pulled on the metal tag and the thread came out of the pants. It was like pulling out a ripcord. Right, now we can get into the pocket. I turned the pants over again. There we go. I searched the pocket gingerly and found a pass card. It read Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. This bit was new. This bit's new. This didn't happen in the first one. The first one, it was just him sort of like touching it and all that shit. Right, now we can we leave through this one? Yeah, we can. Good. Go downstairs and then we shall check. The, the matchbook book bore a pattern of swirling color and the words Club Alamut. And it this... was the card I'd found in the hotel bedroom. It read, Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. Right. Now, we'll see if we can talk to him again. If not... What now, monsieur? Does this pass mean anything to you? That is Monsieur Merlin's property. That's right. Merlin the murderer. I want to see what he's left in your safe. Impossible. I cannot betray his confidence, no matter what you say he's done. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. I can live with that. A murderer? Are you sure? Positive. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No, monsieur. You want this key back? Do you recognize this key? That is the property of the <laughs> Hotel Ubu. Want it, can have it. May I ask <laughs> how it found its way from the little ook to your pocket? Would you believe it was put there by a poltergeist? <laughs> no, monsieur. The hotel is regularly serviced by an exorcist. If we had a ghost, Father Fecon would have flushed it out. I suppose you want the key back. Not especialement. The room is vacant. Since you are so determined to conduct your little investigation, I won't stop you. I'm too lazy. Just take it. I don't care. <laughs> right. So he will not let us have a look at what Mr. Khan, well, Merlin Khan, has in his little Hi, ma puzzle box. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? So you. I found this pass in Merlin's room. So? That deceitful little man is passing himself off as an electrician, is he? Uh-huh. This guy probably has a million faces. Mm. I found this matchbook in Merlin's bedroom. It came from the Club Alamut. 
It might be useful to find out if that club is in Paris, George. I showed the pass to the clerk, hoping he'd give me Merlin's papers. But he wouldn't buy it. He's too scared. I'll give him something to be scared of. There we go. Follow me, George. There it is. This is how we get the stuff that we need from this place. Did you place a package from Merlin in the hotel safe? I did, madam. And did my friend here show you Merlin's identification? Indeed he did, but... What's the problem? He isn't Merlin. A mere academic detail. Give him the package. <laughs> but that is against the law. I, oh, I love her. to be a justice of the peace, you funny. silly man. I am the law. If he tries anything, shoot him, George. My <laughs> pleasure, Lady Piermont. One moment, please. You know, I haven't enjoyed myself this much since Greenham Common. Drake is fucking spy. I don't know what I would have done without you, Lady Piermont. <laughs> Voila, monsieur. Le manuscrit de Monsieur Merlin. Thanks. How satisfying. An Anglo-American alliance that actually worked. The clerk had given me a tightly rolled sheet of parchment. Right then. I decided not to unroll it until I was safely back in Nico's apartment. I know what I need to do here. And we need to save. Scrolled paper. I know I spelled paper wrong, but I can't spell. Right. What I have to do is I have to go up, back into the into the room, outside, throw it outside in the alley. But if I go out, I couldn't leave the hotel here, with the manuscript. It was probably Aww. what the sons were looking for. God, well, that's not fair. I couldn't leave the hotel. It was probably in the original. If you went outside, they took it off you, and then they buried you alive. And there was a cutscene and everything. They took it out this one. That isn't fair. That is one of the cool... That is... That's what I wanted to see in HD. They might have redone it or something. Right, so we throw this down there. I knew this was no way to treat an ancient manuscript. But I couldn't let it fall into the hands of the goons waiting outside. Right now we leave. Right now we can leave. That really, that's that's a disappointment. That that really is a disappointment. Right. Now we get. Just searched. a minute, Monsieur. What's your problem? No problem. If you cooperate. What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flap. You bet! Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. Nothing, Guido. Zilch! Our apologies, monsieur. What? I had to report you to the authorities. Randir, we are the authorities. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, Flat. No. Right. So now we go over here. Pick up this. If the manuscript was what Flap and Guido were after, they were going to be disappointed. I couldn't wait to get back to Nico's apartment and check it out. Back at Nico's apartment. Hi, oh. how are you? Oh, hi. Come in, Josh. 